friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus we can see some amount of bleeding from the main wound Visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility. This is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose 2%. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. And now capsulorexis. The anticapsule is scratched, a capsular tag is raised and this tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size to rexis. In hard cataracts, we shouldn't do a rexis less than 5.5 millimeter. Nucleus management becomes very tough if the rexis is smaller than 5 millimeter. And now hydro dissection is done with the help of a 27 gauge cannula and BSS. The fluid wave is observed. It should go towards the opposite equator. If we can't see the fluid wave, we can make out that the nucleus comes forward. We just have to tap onto the nucleus to release any fluid that may build up behind the nucleus and now the nucleus is mobile and now some more visco 2% HPMC and then this is the time to introduce the FECO needle into the anterior chamber the machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 and the exposed part of the tip is a little more than in softer cataracts. This much is the exposed part of the tip. The nucleus is rotated clockwise and anticlockwise for some time so that cortical removal, cortical cleanup becomes easy and now this is submarine chaff. The teeth travels through the substance of the nucleus for quite some distance reaches near the opposite equator and then it is then the nucleus is chopped and here this is one fragment now I sculpt along the initial groove to go to a deeper plane and then separate the two heminuclei completely and this is the other heminucleus it is also chopped in the same way uh, but there is some leathery band which is still uh, yeah it has got released and now this is one fragment this is the another one and now the nucleus is rotated and we get onto this large piece of nucleus. Ultrasonic energy being used is 75%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And this is the last part of the nucleus and now we are going to remove the epinucleus. The epinucleus is coming very nicely and there is hardly any cortical matter remaining in the capsular bag. Yes, most of the cortex has come out. A little bit of cortex that was there is removed. And now a uh, hydrophilic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted in this case keeping the anterior chamber formed by irrigation. 
irrigation keeps the interchamber formed and the uh, lens is being delivered through the 2.8 millimeter wound by a C cartridge from Alcon. And now the lens is in the capsular bag little bit of moxie is injected into the anterior chamber and then the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab incision the side port is closed now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done yes it is done very nicely there is no visco the capsular bag is also irrigated and aspirated for some time and now the interchamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be one of the best surgeons of the world and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical competence